Assalamualaikum. Hi, I'm Miss Sarah Binti Jawahid, a lecturer from Electrical Engineering Department, Polytechnic Tuan Ku Said Sirajuddin. In this video, I would like to share about Embedded System Speedboat Challenge. Embedded System. What do you know about Embedded System? An Embedded System is some combinations of computer hardware and software at the fixed in capability or programmable that is specifically designed for a particular function. Industrial machines, automobiles, medical equipment, and airplanes are among the myriad possible hosts of an embedded system. Embedded system is a common core course for all electronic engineering students in polytechnic. It covers the basic concept and applications of microcontroller system based on peripheral interface controller, PIC microcontroller. Embedded system teaching and learning process is based on lecture and practical work. Practical work helps students to enhance their understanding on related topics. During practical works, students will perform their laboratory using microcontroller trainer. According to our observations, students can perform their tasks very well. Some of them were excited to explore the microcontroller basic applications. However, some students did not fully engage and participate with the team members to perform the practical works. Based on the observations and questionnaire, we identified the students' perceptions toward interest in embedded system practical work. 75% of the students found the activity performed on practical works very interesting. Most of the students responded that practical works motivated them to learn and they totally disagreed that learning from the book is much better than doing practical works. However, all students seemed to be satisfied and responded they wanted to throw other activities in future. And this is what our students' perceptions on embedded system cause. In my personal point of view, I think embedded system is a one difficult course in my program. However, practical works that we carry out help us to usually the course. Generally, all practical work is carried out using embedded system module training. The use of modern trainer had to approve the understanding of the related topic. Through practical work to carry out, I was given to exposure at doing things according to standard to procedure and systematically. This skill is very valuable because it will be applied in official work. We have to share the module trainer is of the one of group members. It makes me unable to fully master it of as a TVET institution, we are responsible for preparing not only skilled worker but also independent, creative and responsible individuals with broad range of generic and life skills. The finding from the questionnaire had encouraged us to come up with the idea of project-based learning. Project-based learning fulfilling the urge of students to experience the process of applying knowledge of embedded system into practical tasks by themselves, as well as meeting the visions and missions of Polytechnic. Project-based learning is a part of actions learning where students have to organize themselves more independently and to contribute actively to the learning process. The project that they had need to compete for embedded system course was Speedboat Challenge. The main challenge of this competition is students need to design speedboat using embedded homemade remote control. This competition was designed to challenge all teams to learn about electronic, programming and operation in a difficult environment as well as enjoy their learning time together. The generic skills such as leadership, time management and teamwork skills were tested. Now, let's see how the challenge began. The first challenge was students were required to creatively design their speedboat model. They had to think critically and the method to control speed of the boat, the materials and the sailing mechanism. On the other hand, they also had to take into account the surrounding factors of the competition fields as one of their design considerations. The next step was to design the corresponding circuits for their speedboat. The usage of a peripheral interface controller, PIC microcontroller circuit was compulsory in the speedboat project. PIC is an embedded system and it acts as a brain of the speedboat where all instructions will be loaded into this PIC. The PIC circuit was designed and simulated in Proteus software. 
the circuit design challenge students to learn concept of a functional circuit and represented the knowledge in circuit schematic diagram. The next challenge was circuit testing. If the circuit run perfectly, a smile of happiness and satisfactory is seen on their face. However, if the other way around, students had to troubleshoot and fix the circuit until it works. In the next phase, students were required to write programming for PIC. This phase was to challenge the students' ability to design the software according to requirements and specifications. They started writing the actual instruction coding in C language form for the PIC. After developing the code, it was tested against the requirements to ensure that the coding fulfills the requirements. The final phase was the process of combining the components of software and hardware together as well as ensuring that they function together as a single system. During this stage, all types of functional testings were done. After passing with all the tests, Speedboat is ready for competition day. On the competition day, the speedboats from various groups were ready to race. That was the day to show their achievement after going through many challenges to develop their speedboat. Speedboat competition is the perfect outdoor laboratory task with full of challenges and excitement that can give students a very good experience in applying their technical knowledge. Speedboat competition proved that the student had managed to face the technical challenges. Students were able to learn about software and designing electronic circuits for their embedded system within the stipulated time of a project. This was particularly tough where the student had work outside their area of expertise and they had to spend time to learn and to master the software in short period. They also showed ability to encounter and manage challenges. Working in their own team had emphasized hands-on skills and communication skills. They had managed to work professionally to achieve their mission. The other challenge was in maintaining the motivation to keep going despite facing obstacles in speedboat development as well as the pressures of work and personal commitments. Everyone had successfully monitored his or her attitude and thought positively to make it through in embracing this task-based learning process. Who is the winner? Winning or losing is not our aim. Our main objective is to encourage students to adopt innovative techniques and develop their ideas and skills and at the same time train them to manage their time to be available and holistic human capital one day. This is the time where students learn and gain valuable experience. As a conclusion, transformations of teaching and learning in Tibet is needed. We hope that our experience in this video can inspire and motivate lecturers to use new approaches for teaching and learning, especially for embedded system. Embedded system through science and technology disciplines is needed by our country to be a developed country one day. The final word from us, empowering students with technologies. Sorry, our TVET.